Now let's go back to Monday's meeting with the Chinese PM. Beijing's visible but unofficial economic retaliation against Seoul was a thorny subject that had to be covered. The two appeared to agree on working toward better economic cooperation, but some local experts expressed skepticism on a return to normalcy. Yun Xin shares with us their take on the matter. At the center of discussions between South Korean President Moon Jae-in and China's Prime Minister Lee Ka-chang, economic issues that have been challenging the relationship between the two nations. According to Seoul's chief press secretary, President Moon asked Beijing to remove its unofficial measures against Korea, including Korean electric vehicle batteries made in China being left out from government subsidies and anti-dumping tariffs on goods produced in Korea. The electric vehicle battery business is an industry that grows through state subsidies, so without these subsidies, Korean companies can't even enter the local market. The Chinese premier said his country has to prioritize the safety and the sentiment of its people when it comes to products. On that regard, experts say that as long as Korean firms like LG Chem and Samsung SDI keep producing quality batteries, a turnaround in the environment can be expected. So the industry remains hopeful. We hope our business in China recovers through the two countries improving their ties and our continuous efforts to expand localization. But market watchers say it's too early to tell whether there'll be an upturn in other industries. Since Korea announced the deployment of the U.S. anti-missile system in 2015, of which Beijing has been fiercely against, Korean firms have suffered unprecedented damage from China. Businesses in the country have closed down and exports have plummeted. But China has never admitted to imposing any official measures. Besides retaliation, China wants to nurture the growth of its own companies. So for the time being, it's not guaranteed that Korean businesses will recover from the obstacles soon. And some even suggest solving matters in a more fundamental way. Although it may be difficult to do so in a short period of time, gradually, Korean firms need to reduce their dependency on the Chinese market. President Moon and Prime Minister Lee ended their talks on a positive note, a reassurance of a bright future for cooperation between the two countries. While expectations are high, concerns and questions also linger as to whether relations can return to normal, and if so, how long will that take? Yun Shin, Arirang News.